We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from the Pepper North Artisan Foods, not to be confused with Pepper North, the Romance Rider. This is the Stargazer Hot Sauce. To my knowledge, the Romance Rider does not produce, possibly doesn't even enjoy hot sauces. So. And I mention that just because I've been confused multiple, actually I shouldn't say I've been confused, Google has been confused multiple times, so has Amazon, which is what really brought this to my attention, that there was two pepper norse out there. We have scotch bonnet and ghost peppers. So like I was saying in the written review, this is a sauce I should be really, really predisposed to love. So this is from Canada, eh? And you can see we have the ingredients de ranch, but we also have it in English, so let's do that. We have jalapeno, we have scotch bonnet peppers, ghosties, apple cider vinegar, sugars, oh, maple syrup is the sugar, or maybe it's sugars with maple syrup, I don't know, uh, garlic, lime juice, we have sea salt, and chipotles. So I've certainly mentioned my love of scotch bonnets multiple times on the blog. And if you want to read the written re review for this, by the way, it is on the blog. And the link to that is in the description down below. Mentioned scotch bonnet peppers numerous times. Uh, I've also mentioned the ghosties as still my reigning favorite super hot. Uh, jalapenos, I think, are a good flavor. Chipotle is just basically a smoked habanero jalapeno. Chipotle is just basically a smoked jalapeno. So, I should be really predisposed to like this sauce. And I gotta say, I find, I feel like I should like it more than I do. And I think it actually is the apple cider that is causing the havoc with me. Or maybe it's a combination of apple cider, maple syrup, and lime. I, I'm not sure, but I just, I've been looking for this one for a while because it, it, it seemed like it was going to be really exciting. But I just, for whatever reason, have not been able to latch onto it. Uh, we've got a sort of reddish brown here. Uh, obviously, anything brown, we started thinking of mole's. A lot of chunkiness to the sauce. Very, very chunky. You can see it is uh, fairly thick. Likes to hang out in the neck there. Lots of different seed particles and so on in there. Uh, the brown color, I I'm going to guess, is uh, maybe a little bit more so with the, I don't know, the maple syrup is enough to do that, but maybe it's the chipotles. It probably is the chipotles that are, that are doing that. I don't know what color they use for the jalapeno scotch bonnets. Uh, ghosts are usually red. I'm assuming that that was probably the case there as well. So we sort of have this red brownish hue. I think it looks good. One thing that's really kind of odd about this sauce though, there's no xanthan gum in it. Gum in it so we don't have a, the suspension uh, of the stuff particularly, and, and you can't see it here. But this is a sauce that, like sometimes when I put it on a plate, it'll start to separate on the plate. And by the time I finish it, I'll have a pool of like the sort of watery liquid around the actual sauce. So, all right, let's uh, get into the flavor sensation. Crap. Very grainy. They clearly used the whole peppers. Ah. Lots of seeds. It's... 
the texture is, is uh, kind of like those hard bits from the seeds. It's um, I don't love that texture. Not uh, not a super fan of that. They call this ultra hot. It was on the the seventh slot on the show. It's I mean it's punchy. Certainly this is not probably advisable for non chili heads. I don't think they would enjoy it. The initial hit, I mean, the, the peppers really come through more as a blend. There's no one distinct flavor. Some bitterness from the super hot in there, but the first flavor I got was apple cider, which is, um, if I like that vinegar better, probably, I would like this sauce better is kind of where I'm thinking. I think that's kind of what's throwing it off for me, but it's not bad. Little hint of the smokiness from the ghosties and the chipotles. It's uh, I mean, it's a de I don't mean to damn it with faint praise, but I mean I'm going to. <laughs> I don't mean to, but I'm going to. It is uh, just kind of a, a decent sauce. It's not. I put it solidly in the middle. It's not unenjoyable, but it's not really enjoyable either. At least not for me. So today we have from Arby's. They've got these hush puppy fry baskets for five bucks. So I thought, all right, let's get one. This is brand new. So this is what you get for five bucks. See? There it is, guys, five bucks. Look, look at it. Here it is. This is $5 from Arby's. More continuing the state of Fast food is pathetic. So hush pupper, hush puppy breading. Uh, I mean they're decently sized, not crazy, but okay. I like doing fish. I just don't like cooking it, especially in the summer. I don't like cooking anything indoors if I can avoid it, other than the microwave and maybe the air fryer. If it's hot, it's a bazillion degrees. I'm not turning the oven up. And I thought, well, this is new. Why not? Five bucks, right? <laughs> they didn't even, like, if you look at this, so this is what it looks like folded, right? There's a lot of room where you could probably double the fries. Definitely, you could put way more of the fish in there. Arby's, man. Failing. I don't want to pick on them. Fast food's all failing. I get the distinct impression it's only going to get worse. Alright, so... This hush puppy breading isn't bad. I mean, this works as well here as it does in everything else. Try it on burgers, try it on pizzas, I've tried it on chicken, obviously. I guess, not obviously, but. A lot of sauces are really specifically designed to be a style that doesn't go with chicken. Chicken's always a soup. Breading is interesting. It's kind of a. I mean, that's. That's hush puppies, right? Just deep fried cornbread. So, this is sort of a cornmeal breading. Uh, I mean, it's fine. Do I see this as $5? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I surely do not. So in the seventh spot, 
if we go by my assumption that the slot on the show is supposed to be the heat rating. So seven on the show, seven on the heat and scale. Following with that, for me, most of the sauces on the show, I've got to divide by either half or sometimes by thirds to get a measure of it. This one, this one, uh, so a seven is to be a three and a half. If you follow the blog, you know I don't do halves on the blog. And, and the ratings on, for the videos, I don't specifically rate them in the videos because they're already rated. But why do you snacks and stuff like that? I don't do halves either. But I would say this is much closer to a three than a three and a half for me. I mean, it clearly is chili head, chili head territory. It's not, it's not for, I can't think of any normies that would enjoy this. At all. It's, 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 I mean, it's not bad sauce. It's just not. I mean, it's not a good one either. It's just okay. It's it's fine. It's there. <laughs> Certainly, I'll finish it. I'm just a, a little underwhelmed by this because I, I really maybe I built up my head chasing it around for so long. By the time I finally got it, it was never going to live up to it. But if you guys. If you guys, if you guys go to the blog, you'll see I've done a lot of sauces. So I really don't think that is playing into this. Actually, if you look at the videos, I've done a lot of sauces. I think by the time I post this, there is probably around 300, give or take. Actually, it might be more than that. Video reviews. So stuff like that, that whole built up in my head, and then it just, I, I don't think that's the case here. I was, it, it took me a long time to find it, but it's not like I was super excited, you know, to, to get it. I like the name, Stargazer's good, I had no idea what it's meant to mean here, though. I, it doesn't make any sense with this figure on it, to me anyway. Might be it. Might be something about to Canadian thing, eh? I don't know. No idea. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of... Even if you build something up and you really want it to be good, if what comes out of the bottle isn't, I mean, you, you, I mean, you can't fake it. You know what can I say? That's that's the bottom line. It's either there and it hits, or it it doesn't and it misses, or it's or it's kind of like this one where it's in between, where it's it's riding that not bad, but uh, not anything that I would that I'm excited to eat, not anything that I'm gonna reach for and say that that sauce is what I want on this food it, it just isn't that for me but solid I would say overall uh, certainly you know if you're trying to go through the hot one sauces like I am uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't shy away from it because it's bad or anything like that so uh, it just might take you a little bit to find it but uh, I guess that's a good place to leave this off with uh, with the pepper north our tea artisan foods Something like that. The Pepper North Stargazer Hot Sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.